Welcome to the center of it all. March was Women's History Month, and in order to celebrate some of the amazing women here in Center County, we're going to take a look at a couple leaders who are doing their part to make this area a better place to live. Our first leader is an advocate for individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities. She leads a nonprofit that is helping people live in their community and exercise their rights as citizens in a way that meets their needs. Rebecca Cunningham is the Chief Executive Officer of the ARC of Center County. She graduated from Penn State and started her career in occupational therapy. Eventually throughout time, she worked at the ARC and discovered that it was her passion. I started working in a community home with people with disabilities. Um, I enjoyed the experience and then, you know, throughout life just kind of adapted and changed in, in other positions and here we are today. The ARC of Center County provides multiple services. Some include community homes which provide a place for individuals to live together and receive the support that they need. They also do in-community services by helping those who live independently by supporting whatever outcomes they desire. In a lot of cases, we assist individuals in getting out and just volunteering in the community, giving back. So often the individuals we serve give back as much as, as they receive. The ARC also provides competitive integrated employment by assisting individuals to find a job that has the right conditions for success. Um, it's a win-win. Um, employers get a, a great employee. Um, individuals we serve are integrated. Um, they're working around people um, of a very you know, diverse background and not just other people with disabilities. They're, they're out in the community and they're able to really um, get involved and form new relationships. Um, and it's, it's a mutually beneficial experience, obviously, um, but everybody really enjoys that. Rebecca has taken on many different roles since she started the agency in 2000. She has worked in community homes and directly with people with disabilities. Even though her day-to-day -day responsibilities might be a little different from when she first started, her goals are still the same and she holds the ARC mission very close to her heart. My favorite part of what I do is that no day is the same. Um, no two people are the same, no two dreams are the same, and no two paths in life are the same. And what we're able to do as an agency is uh, help people determine what it is that they want their life path to be and hopefully to, to follow that path. Like most of us, Rebecca didn't always know what she wanted to do. A series of events led her to her passion and she recommends that you find out what your interests are and explore them. I encourage people um, to explore their interests from a very young age. So if you are in college and you need a part-time job, it is wonderful to work as a, as a um, waiter or waitress at a restaurant. But if that's not your life passion, then I always encourage people to try out what your life passion is. First of all, it helps you to gain experience, but secondly, it helps you to you know fine-tune those things that you may want to do in the future. And it really, regardless of what the experience is, um, sets you up for success. An influential woman that Rebecca looks up to in the disability community is Temple Grandin. She was somebody who was able to take um, her abilities and use them. Um, we often, um, often the disability um, community of the past focused very much on the limitations that people had, the things they couldn't do and not the things they could do. And, and she's a, a wonderful example um, of success that comes from focusing on what people can do. The motivating factor for Rebecca is that this isn't just a job. It's something that she puts her whole heart into and loves to see the end result. I think what inspires us and motivates us is that um, we are here for other people. And I often think that um, motivation outside of yourself is really powerful. Um, that, you know, if left to my own devices, if I was just doing this for me, I wouldn't be nearly as motivated. Um, but there's people who are relying on me and, and depending on me, and their lives are enhanced um, and their opportunities are expanded uh, when we come to work every day and, and do the things that we're supposed to do. Being a, a leader in Center County is about helping to make those connections happen more readily, I think, and, and helping people who otherwise may not see the success in themselves to achieve uh, far more than they ever dreamed. Rebecca told me that it's important for her to give back to Center County because it's her home and it's where she's raising her family. 
She also believes that it's hard for someone to live in this area and not want to give back. And I totally agree with that from all the amazing people I've met in this community. Coming up next, we'll be taking a look at a woman who is leading a small staff of five to make a big change.